Exploration is at the heart of what we do at OceanX, and on our recent mission to Indonesia, we investigated an underwater feature that local scientists have been curious about for years, a seamount. That's exactly what it sounds like, an underwater mountain. This is Anga Duinovantio, a scientist who works for Indonesia's National Research and Innovation Agency. I'm coming from a research center for deep sea. 11 years ago, Anga was part of a team that got some information about this seamount, but he's never been able to take a closer look at it. That's where Ocean Explorer comes in. The first thing we did was map the seamount. Using multi-beam sonar, our mapping team turned this into this. The new high-resolution data revealed some surprising details. First was the shape of the seamount. Prior to come here, we are thinking that probably we just had like one, yep. one big seamount. I mean one like this one. But that's clearly not what we found. There's uh, two peaks, like uh, the first one and then the second one, but uh, in the middle, it's just like the uh, channels. Anga and Laura also noticed something unexpected about the physical makeup of the seamount, reflected in how the sound from the sonar bounced back from the seafloor. One of the things that we were talking about and got us really happy, I yeah. guess, <laughs> it was the Max scatter, because the Max scatter was completely different from the previous study. At first, what they got on their study was that uh, probably the top was really hard substrate, so probably rock or something like that. But in the new data, there appeared to be sand, not rock, at the tops of the peaks and in the channel between them. That was uh, a thing that we got really excited yeah. about. It. We got it. Now, to most people, sand might not seem exciting, but Anka explained that finding it here could indicate something important. Maybe it will be like the uh, uh, internal or local upwelling uh, conditions. Upwelling is when currents transport cold, nutrient-rich water up from the depths, which fuels life. Probably uh, there's a much uh, higher biodiversity in that area. After learning these new details about the seamount, it was time to explore it up close. We sent our remotely operated vehicle down 1,516 meters, or almost 5,000 feet, to a spot between the peaks. What we saw confirmed just what Laura and Anga suspected. Coming to bottom, it was like sand. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, there is sand. See, we told you, the sand really was a big deal. It's really interesting because uh, I never seen anything like this one. And as predicted, there were many signs of life. Perhaps the most exciting moment was when a huge shark came to check out the ROV. It was a sleeper shark from the family of species that includes the Greenland shark. One thing for sure is that there's much more to discover, not only about this seamount, but about the deep sea in Indonesia generally. 70% of the Indonesian sea is categorized as the deep sea. It's huge. And only a fraction of it has been explored. Deep sea is very mysterious. Focusing on features like seamounts is a great way to start unraveling the mystery. With their unique oceanographic conditions, seamounts create hot spots of ecological activity that tell us more about how the ocean functions. Studying this one was all in a day's work on Ocean Explorer. I don't know how to describe, like, I'm so happy, actually. 